some of Facebook's biggest shareholders are cashing out as much as half their stakes in the company. We're going to tell you what it means, and we've got Anna Prida Das here from the Wall Street Journal to tell us about this. This is a big deal. Let's first of all go through who, who's selling out. Um, we've got a sell, Peter, a sell partners, Peter Thiel, Goldman Sachs, DST, and Tiger Global. That's right. The, these are companies that got in when Facebook was a lot smaller, right? Right. Yeah, most of them, apart from DST, um, Tiger Global, and Goldman, which got in a couple of years ago now when they did that additional offering, everyone else has been in it since the beginning. So now if you think of Facebook as an eight-year-old company, some of these guys have been there right from the start. Right from the start when it was worth a heck of a lot less than the anticipated hundred billion bucks. Yeah. Now, th these are insiders, and sometimes when you say with a public company, and this isn't public yet, but when right. you see a public company, you see insiders side is selling yeah. it's not considered to be a good sign or it could potentially but this is different you say right yeah well actually I was actually uh, talking to people who are you know familiar with this deal and they said that you know that would be true if it was an IPO that someone was having to hard sell to investors but in this case there is just so much demand and there is such a big growth story and like there's so much appetite all over that for older investors to sell isn't necessarily construed as a sign that something's wrong uh, mm. you know at, at the company and these guys are trying to get out before now, the, the, the obvious question, it comes a day, we get this news a day after um, General Motors announced that they, they really given the right. thumbs down to Facebook right. or advertising yeah. on Facebook anyway. So yeah. you can understand that, but you're saying that this is more part of the cycle to do with Silicon Valley and how investment works. To, to explain that. Yeah, partly that. I mean, I think it's driven entirely by investor demand. Like if there is demand for many of these guys, it's a purely financial move. If you look at venture backed exits, you know, they, they're happening slower and slower. They take longer longer to happen. The IPO markets haven't been that active and the way these venture capital guys make money is by having one huge exit that can then subsidize the cost of all their other investments that may not have played, you know, done that well. So if they're getting an opportunity to exit and make a really good return on their investment, mm. why not? So they look at it, I think, purely as a financial decision rather than some sort of calculated bet that I'd better get out before Facebook stock starts underperforming. That could well happen, but that would be pure speculation on everyone's part at this Point. Okay, so the, the life cycle of, of tech startups, and there's some very fast growth, and there's also a lot of, of big failures in those early days, right. and that's why they need the money, right? Yeah, they do that. Yeah, they're absolutely. And, you know, and I, I, I think, you know, that's where all venture capital, all private equity, you know, they just wait for that big blockbuster company that will help them make up for all of the other losses. And, you know, as we've said, it's just been a slow M&A and IPO market, so you haven't had that many opportunities to exit your investments. And so this will help fund more investment in Silicon Valley startups is the idea. Now, my understanding about venture, cap venture capital and, and, and private right. equity is that their hit rate for startups and what they get is pretty pretty low. Pretty low. I mean, if you were an employee and you got this hit rate, it'd be bad. How, yeah. how bad is it? I mean, I don't have actual numbers, but it's, you know, one of a fund that would invest in, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 companies, so one to five. So it's a really, really tiny, but like if it's a big hit, if you invested in Google, you know, you did a good thing. If you invested in Amazon, I mean, so those are, but you know, so you create these legends, but at the same time for every Amazon, there are probably 10 companies that were funded that you know, never saw the light of day.